Uh, we're here with Dale from Evil Aliens. How are you doing, sir? I'm good. How are you going? Not too bad, not too bad. Now, I saw this game last year and I fell in love with it. Right? Just the aesthetics, as I mentioned before, um, the graphics of it, and the music now has been incorporated. Uh, it's fantastic. How Thank did, you. How did this come to be? Like, like the idea to, to now? How did you... um, it actually started as an assignment for uh, part of my course at the Academy of Interactive Entertainment. Uh, I was in my second year and my teacher was constantly going on about core core mechanics and sticking to simplicity. So I tried to come up with a really simple idea and then once we'd finished I did exactly what you shouldn't do and that's take your your school assessment and sort of continue on with it. Usually you would you'd be best off to kind of leave it to something else. Um, but people seem to really like it so thought I'd take it and expand on it and we built a, a small team and we took it through into the, the incubator that they're now doing which is like an optional third year where AIE basically gives us, uh, they give it like a studio equipment, uh, licensed software, right. um, 24 hour access for us to just go in and smash out as many games as we can. Yeah, so uh, one thing, one of the barriers that we have with the game right. is the the mechanics. Are, while it's still a, it's an orbit game, and there's plenty of orbit games out there, the mechanics are kind of different. They're a bit original, right. so people don't really know what to expect. So what we're doing now is kind of introducing people to the basic mechanics first. Once we do that, then we can kind of show all the craziness. But a lot of this stuff is still half done. We're not really ready to show stuff that's half done. Actually, yeah. uh, we're, we're going to do show something that's better be like 100%. Right? Yeah, yeah, we, we need it really polished. Yeah. Right. Uh, it's a storyline based as well. Uh, yeah, there is a storyline to it, even though it, it seems like a, it's just a bit of an arcade game. Uh, the, the original idea, this is kind of like the second game, right. but we're doing like a George Lucas, so we're like the, the first game's way too difficult to make, so we're going to make the second game, which is a bit easier. Um, so uh, the, the first game has a pretty epic story and we're going to sort of tell that story in a more simplistic way through through this game. Um, so the, the, the orbit is kind of wake, working its way in towards the centre of this nebula here. Right. And uh, it's kind of breaking up this sort of giant orbital machine which is probably doing something nefarious. Um, and we're going to try and flip that uh, sort of back and forth and see if we can kind of confuse the player about what they should and shouldn't be doing, whether it's a good or bad thing. Good. Yeah. But I just say, look, these graphics are incredible. I'm just, <laughs> once, once here, it's just, I'm just thrown away by the aesthetics of it. It's, just, it's, like I'm, it's like I'm in space myself and I'm looking at it. Like I'm well, they say if you can't make a good game, make a pretty one. <laughs> um, but, uh, so we're trying to do both. Um, but yeah, the, we've worked pretty hard on the graphics, but uh, because I've done the majority of the graphics up to now, we have, we have another artist now, but uh, I, I kind of do the, the design, the, the art, sound design and music. Wow. So there's a bit of a, I've got like a, a singular vision and they all tend to gel because it's just kind of one guy steering the ship. Wow. Um, and yeah, it just seems to work. Any inspiration from the music or? Uh, well, I've been a muso for a long time. Okay. Um, and the inspiration is actually what I, so I used to jump out of planes for fun like skydiving and stuff as you do and the, yeah and the, the the feeling is of kind of freedom and and this the music that actually best represents that as silly as it sounds is uh movie trailer music that they're using like romantic comedies and you know that kind of stuff and uh sports grading greatest moments of all time all right. so it's that really kind of uplifting stuff that they try and because they've got like 30 seconds to grab your attention so it's it's that music all the way through the game, just that soaring guitar sort of like uh, epic sort of uplifting stuff. It's Chariots of Fire on steroids. Uh, yeah, yeah, that kind of thing. Uh, you know, there's a bit of U2 sort of style in there. It's, uh, all sorts of stuff. There's a bit of electronic sort of Jean-Michel Tron stamp sounding stuff. And, and the music kind of evolves. So it's very guitar live oriented when you first go in, right. which okay. is the freedom of kind of cruising around in the clouds. And then as you get further into the machine and it becomes more mechanical, right. the music actually becomes more electronic and darker. So yeah, to kind of, yeah, hopefully. Like to fit the mood, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, it kind of increases the mood, I hope. And so for the curious public out there, and for myself, 
when when are you hoping to release this game? Uh, look, we we're, we're pretty busy. Uh, we're trying to get it done as soon as possible. Uh, if we can have it out for the first quarter next year, that'd right. be awesome. Uh, but yeah, it will definitely be next year sometime. Uh, latest, hopefully halfway through the year. Yeah. So, uh, and we're we're developing for PC, Mac, and Linux, and we're currently trying to get onto console. Um, and no, we're actually uh, have they just taken us on as our publisher, and they're they're working with us to get us onto console, which is just great. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah, Thank you very much.